Welcome back to Joy News Prime to the rest of our stories. And the Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly says that it is strengthening security at the regional workshop of the State Transport Corporation to protect the Ayalolo buses. This comes after four of the buses were raised by an inferno Wednesday night. Joy News' Kofi Asari has more in the following report. It took fire service intervention to stop the fire from spreading to other buses parked in the yard. Though the cause of fire remains unknown, managers of the transport service will not rule out arson. Henrietta Efia Kunedua Bwaje is public relations officer for Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly. The buses uh, with these registration numbers, uh, GS1563016, GT549617, GS51318, and then GS511818. Um, it caught fire yesterday night and then the fire service were called in from Chiapache to come and quench the fire. As of now, the fire service are still um, carrying out their yeah, uh, exercise to see what actually happened to got, to get the buses bent to that state. So we are yet to receive their reports. The buses are 60 and then four of them has been affected. Actively we are using 50. So the other 50 are still on the road and it's helping. The management is going to sit down to increase the security around the buses so that any suspicious characters can easily be seen and then future situations of this can be averted. Meanwhile, the fire service has commenced investigation into the cause of fire. AD01 Bernard Nyamete gives advice to vehicle owners on how to prevent such fire incidents. Before we move our cars, let's make sure that we check our cars, make sure our cars are in good condition. Let's check our battery terminals, our electrical system. Let's make sure that we check all these things so that we are sure of that our car is in good condition to take us wherever we want to go. And then after work of the day, let's also do the same checkings to make sure that indeed the car is in good condition, pack them and, get, and then go and rest. When you are tired, please don't drive. When you are tired, have a rest before you continue with your journey. If you're able to do that, I'm very sure that we are going to, together, help to minimize accidents that occur during this uh, festive season. Joy News camera technician, Kufia Saris, report read to you.